Hey, good morning, Christy Mattoon here, Christy Renee Healing Ministries and Mind Rewire. Um, from Christy Renee Healing Ministries and Mind Rewire. I wanted to get on for a quick second because somebody just um I've had a few phone calls this morning, but somebody just called me asking me, like, what the hell is going on? Like they're just kind of waking up, kind of idea. Bless their hearts. And um totally confused, totally out of whack. And wanted to know my take on what they had heard. And, um, you know, red pilling somebody is always fun. I don't know if it's fun or not. Red pilling somebody is always um, interesting. And I've had that happen a number of times this week, including while we were in Las Vegas, which was kind of cool, actually. Um, but gently, right? You don't want to, you don't want to totally uproot them. Right. So gently, gently we go. Um, but this person called asking very, sp very specific questions. And it just made me giggle. Um, like, have you heard kind of thing? And went on and on. And so I started asking him some questions back, trying to. Like play the devil's advocate, I guess. And it's interesting, like the more the more you hear and the more you find out, the less you realize you actually know. Like so much of everything we were told. And my brother told me this. You've heard this story a thousand times if you listen to me. That everything I think I know is wrong. Like forget all of it. Start over. So question everything basically is what that came down to. Question everything. And I have ever since. Um, and so she was asking me things like um, the oil problem right? Our gas shortages. Where does oil come from? And I just had to laugh. Where does oil come from? What, what do you say? Um, because we were taught when I was in school, and apparently different ages have been taught different things, that the, um, that the oil came from dinosaurs. And the dinosaurs were like crushed under all the rock. And over a period of time, all that turned into oil. But then, like some smart ass in the school, in the class would ask, well, how did they get the bones then? If the dinosaur turned into oil, and that's what happens to dinosaurs, why are there certain sets of bones that we have? And apparently, either the bones aren't real, which I've talked to a, a bone lady. There's a little thing up in Denver, um, outside of Denver, um, that's like where the bones in Colorado little museum and she's like oh well we just made these they're just casts from whatever they had found and then they make up the rest to complete the whole thing because they don't really know so there's a potential that that dinosaur did not look like what they told us it looked like and all you could do is laugh you're like seriously like you teach this stuff like it's science um so where does oil come from and what I have understood from a few different sources, and you just have to dig around and look, is that oil is produced naturally in the earth. It's a combination of elements and minerals and whatever, and under the right pressure and temperature, you get oil. But it's not like you're going to run out because the earth will always reproduce it because the earth needs it. That's why it's there, because the earth needs it. Water. Is water the same thing? Can the earth naturally produce water? I would have to say, yes, it can. Right? What is water? H2O. So two hydrogen molecules and an oxygen molecule. How does the earth create water? Right? And man just naturally Fs it up because that's what man does. So create shortages, ruins the water with its poisons, right? The list is on and on and on. Okay. What do you know about autoimmune disease? This was a funny one. I just, I just figured this one out the other day and I was all proud of myself. And I'm like, wow, seriously? So I have suffered with autoimmune diseases most of my life, if not all of my life. And, you know, inflammation of some sort, somewhere affecting one organ or another, right, my whole life. And so at some point I got sick enough and I had gained enough weight that I wanted to lose the weight and I started looking through all the diets and all the things 
for autoimmune disease. And one of the things that inevitably shows up is AI paleo. AI paleo diet, that is autoimmune paleo diet. So you're eating paleo, but for autoimmune disease. And so there's some specifics to it that you have to follow. One of the specifics that they taught us in AI paleo was not to eat nightshades. That is a classification of vegetable. What are nightshades? Nightshades are potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, and it includes all kinds of peppers. Um, I want to say there's a few other things in there, but that was pretty much the gist of it, right? So every food that you love, <laughs> potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, and eggplants. And eggplants I never loved because I, I thought I was allergic to them. They made me pretty sick. Um, but I think I understand what that was now. So the other day, right, we're in the era of spike proteins and the era of post-COVID, right? That's been officially canceled. Um, but we're in the era, era now of spike proteins, which is produced from the COVID and the COVID vaccines. And how do you effectively, if you aren't vaxxed, how do you effectively get the um, spike proteins out of your body. And if you are vaxxed, how do you effectively get the spike proteins out of your body? Because you don't want that to build up in your system. Now, if this video gets me in trouble, I want to say to the, to the uh, YouTube gods <laughs> that I am not um, spreading rumors or lies. I am just saying, this is what I understand. This is what I understand. Now, there is a doctor um, whose last name is spelled A-R-D-I-S. You can find him on R-U-M-B-L-E. Um, and he talks about nicotine. What does nicotine have to do with any of this? It turns out in your body, in every cell of your body, you have a nicotine receptor. Wow, the rain is really coming down now. A nicotine receptor. If those receptors are not full of what they're supposed to be full of, which is nicotine, something else can get into its place. Something else that is very similar to nicotine, um, right? The shape or the uh, makeup of nicotine. And so unfortunately, that's how they built the spike protein, was to fit into the nicotine receptor, okay? Hold on to that for just a second. Now, nicotine, we know, comes from tobacco. And we have been told all of our lives, especially my age group, that tobacco is addictive. Everything you think you know is false. Turns out tobacco is not addictive. The stuff that they put in the cigarettes and the chew and that kind of stuff is addictive. So they have additives like so many other things that they have put into it to make it addictive. And then they told you that nicotine was addictive. Nicotine is not addictive. If you get a pure source, nicotine is not addictive. Now, this doctor went on to say um, that if you fill your nicotine receptors up, if you intake nicotine into the system, whatever is in the receptor site will be kicked out, which would be the spike protein, so that the nicotine can take its rightful place, which is interesting. And then... Um, in so much as that happens, your body will start to alter in response, right? Because it's got something in the receptor it needs that most of us don't have because we were told that that stuff is evil, wrong, and addictive. So we tried to stay away from it, yes? Okay. So it's not addictive and you need it in your system because you have receptors that call for it, which is crazy and interesting. What else has nicotine in it? So this was Dr. Um, A-R-D-I-S. Potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, and eggplant. Woo -woo. The nightshade family has nicotine in it naturally. So now you have a person who's struggling with autoimmune disease, probably has something in the nicotine receptor sites that's blocking them. Um, and keeping you sick, keeping you in a state of emergency and keeping you in a state of um, inflammation, right? Which is what autoimmune diseases does, it's all about inflammation. And they tell you not to eat tomatoes, potatoes, peppers, and eggplant or the nightshade family. 
but those vegetables have nicotine and if you ate nicotine it will go into your body and make you feel sick why right now this is what happened i lived through this the ai protocol the ai paleo protocol said don't eat those because they're poisonous to your system something about the seed something about the skin something about something else in it an enzyme or something whatever was poisonous to your system and if you eat them it's going to make you feel nasty turns out if you eat them the nicotine in that plant wants to get into a nicotine receptor in your body it's kicking out whatever's in there and in that kicking out of whatever's in that receptor usually some kind of poison it makes you feel quaky makes you feel nasty it will make you sick it will set you on the toilet for days if you've got enough of it in your system and you've eaten enough of it that it's moving stuff out of your system. I'm not lying about this. So nightshades are actually healing plants. They have nicotine in them for a reason, right? Some would say God built them that way for a purpose and whatever you believe about, about that. If it's got nicotine in it and they're telling you not to eat it, my guess is that was part of the whole lie about all of this, right? It's a disease, you've got a specific problem to a specific organ. No, you don't have the right information in your receptor sites, body-wide, and it's causing issues all over the place. And it might be singling out certain organs because you're weak in those organs. But if you get the right information in the receptors, guess what response you will get? Your body will self-heal. It's just like the earth. If we left the earth alone, she would start producing enough oil and whatever else, water, pure, clean, that we need to function and be fine. But we won't leave it alone. And you might have your own reasons on that, right? We all know about the people in charge. Okay, so nightshades. <laughs> there was that one. Nightshades. What a lie. What a freaking scam. The whole thing is just so, it's mind boggling to me. Tobacco, right? Dr. Um, ARDIS has people wearing patches, nicotine patches, chewing nicotine gum. And every time I do, like on certain things, if I get too much at once, man, I feel so queasy. But over time, the queasiness goes away and I can maintain the same level, the same amount that I, you know, intook, like the two, two milligram gum can make me kind of, but it goes away pretty quick now because I've been doing it for a while. And then, right, if the nicotine receptors are full of what they're supposed to be full of and nothing else can get in there, you find yourself not getting as sick as often, ever. Crazy. Okay, next one. Um, this was literally asked. Earth, round or flat? <laughs> and I have to laugh. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Everything you think you know is wrong, but I'm going to throw in a caveat. They always use truth in the lies. They always use truth in the lies, and that's what makes it so deceptive. Is the earth round or flat? I've heard great arguments on both sides, right? Whatever we were taught, and we've been programmed with the round information, and then I've heard interesting, like, it's like, I mean, I don't know. I'm out to lunch on that one. And I heard a guy the other day, um, saying, and they kind of kept him undercover. He was in the shadows because he's some kind of, like he knows stuff that he's not supposed to know kind of idea. But he was saying, if the earth is flat, um, show me where the end of it is. Because if there's an end, that means I can fly to it and see it, or I can walk to it and see it kind of idea. And the only thing I could think was, if it's flat, what if there isn't an end? What if it spans the whole cosmos? I don't know. I don't know. All right. So that was one of the questions. Earth, round or flat? Moon landing. Fake or real? What do you think? I've heard good information on both sides of that one too. But I've also seen the footage that they were, um, that they were creating that was supposed to be the moon and the landing and the people doing their thing and the the ropes pulling them up into the air and making it look like they were jumping and anti-gravity, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. What do you think? I literally think, and this, we could go into climate change even, CO2. She asked about this, CO2. What do you think about the climate change? And Did you know, like, we need CO2? 
right? It's a, it's a um, greenhouse gas. Why is it that? Because it helps grow plants. Hello? If you got rid of all the CO2 or cut it down to low enough level, which we're actually getting close to, you would cause a huge problem on this earth because these plants would not grow. Yeah? I mean, I've got plants all over the place behind me. They wouldn't grow. Yes, those are aloe. Right? So climate change, real or fake? Your carbon footprint, right? They're trying to, to alleviate the carbon footprint. And she's, what is that? That's you. They're trying to get rid of you. You are the carbon footprint. It's not about the cars and the this is and the that's is you're mostly carbon. Did you know that? They're talking about you. They're not talking about stuff you do or the emissions. This is why they, they can fly airplanes all over the place, but we can't, right? It's an issue. They tell you it's such, but then they're out on their private jets flying around all over the world all the time. Like this is the stuff you hear and you think about and you're like, seriously, what is the carbon footprint? It's literally your footprint. It's your physical footprint on this planet. And they're saying it's causing an issue. Right? Who said it best? HC called you a useless eater. I think they all did, or a deplorable or whatever. I was just listening to another young man on another channel on on YouTube here, and he was saying it's a controlled demolition. This is a controlled demolition. And the faster it is demolished, the systems, right? They created the systems and now they're getting rid of the systems because they want to reset it and they want to do it different. Um, and the faster they demolish it and get rid of it, the sooner they can start over with something else. The more of us that are here that remember, right? The old stories, right? You've got all these old timers and um, like think through native um, native peoples on lands all over the world, right? And they tell you all these old stories and there's there's history from ancient places about aliens and and angels and people coming out of the sky and all of these kind of things. But they made up stories about that too and they don't want you to know what that stuff was. They don't want, didn't want those people to be able to retell those stories. So where did those people go? Whole civilizations, where'd they go? Where did they go? They got rid of them right? Because they didn't want them to repeat the stories. And they didn't want you to know, right? Down the chain, they need the useless eaters to some extent, but then at some point there's too many of us and they have to reset the system again. They reset the history. History's not what you think it is, obviously, right? If the moon's not, or if the, the moon landing's real or fake, like there's discussion on it. It has been for a long time, right? You know, and then you go into like some of the history that we were taught about, let's say JFK, because that has come out very recently, his own family members. Um, was the shooting real? Or was it, was it faked? Was it something that, you know, it wasn't what we were told? He obviously got shot. He obviously died. Who did it? It's not what you were told, right? So um, some of his family mem members, Robert um, Kennedy, Robert Kennedy? has come out recently talking about this, that it was a CIA cover-up. How about the 9-11? Uh, Have you seen the footage without the airplanes? And then somebody will say, well, they took out the airplanes. But you watch screen by screen the footage with the airplane, and it makes no sense. And how could an airplane that's made out of aluminum and plastic, whatever it's made out of, fly into the side of a still girded building? And, and go straight through it because that's what some of the footage shows. And then you hear the people, first people talking about the plane going through it. And the words they used were exactly the narrative that was put out next and repeated over and over and over and over. <sighs> I mean, I don't even know what to title this video except what the heck is going on or what do you think you know? I don't know, maybe I'll do a whole series of these. Because the more you start asking questions and trying to understand, and, and maybe not the question why, the why question will always get you in trouble. Ask what, how, when, really tell me more, <laughs> even though. Um, hopefully this was helpful, especially about the nicotine. I can do another video on that and give you um, 
protocols you can use to actually help fill those receptors up because they're pretty effective and easy. I hope this blesses you. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll talk again soon.